sponsored by MITS of Virginia. In just a bit, we're going to have a video that explains what MITS is and does. We'd like to take a moment to thank MITS and its wonderful staff for all the help in sponsoring Cooking with Carter Season 4. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Carter. I'm DJ Carter and this is my wife Emily. Happy to have everybody with us today. We are going to do an overstuffed meatball. Uh, now one of the first things I want to do is go over the ingredients. So I'm going to have my wife back up and go ahead and grab the 80-20 ground beef. 80-20 uh, ground beef is important in this because you want to have that uh, fat to regular regular lean content and basically the more fat you can get the more greasy and wonderful your meatball is going to turn out. So um, this is the 80-20 okay but I'm going to go from left to right but that's one of the first things we have. So we have ricotta cheese, we have sharp cheddar cheese, we have mozzarella cheese, and we have bacon. Okay. Um, now, I went ahead and got the cheese sticks because it's a little bit easier to have the cheese melt in the meatball instead of doing a sliced cheese or a cheddar cheese. It will burn quicker, and that melting point is going to be just a little bit longer on the mozzarella and the sharp cheddar. Also, it gives you a different chance to have some other varieties in there as far as what you want to do. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take our big blue bowl over here. Okay. We're going to open up our 80-20. Nice sharp knife to do this with here. Um, one of the key things I wanted to point out is let your beef firm up after you thaw it because if you don't, your hands are warm, okay? Your body temperature, of course, is 98.6. You start handling meat at 98.6, it's going to loosen and it's not going to have any firmness to it. So you want to make sure that that beef has some firmness. Now I'm going to squeeze this into the bowl. And I'm going to roll one, and I'm going to have my wife, my wife roll one. Okay, but there is the ground beef there. Okay, and we'll just set that over there for now. Now, the way you want to do this, um, honey, if you'll go ahead and open up one of these and also one of the mozzarellas for me. Now, here's the trick to everything, okay? With a meatball, it does not have to be that large, okay? A meatball, a hand-sized meatball, if you take it and roll it, you can also take it and roll it on your cutting board if you don't want to handle it. So, now, what I'm going to have Emily do is pass me that one of the sharp cheddars and this is a little bit big okay so what we're going to do we're going to cut this down to about half okay we're going to take this half we're going to press this right in the center of the meatball like that where the cheese sticks out just a little bit Okay, then you pinch it over. Okay, and if the cheese sticks out, that's okay. Now we want to move the mozzarella cheese and the cheddar, and we're going to open the bacon. Okay. So, let's see. Then do you think you could open the bacon for me? Okay. Right, just watch your knife there. Be careful. You want to just slice it, just don't, don't cut yourself. That helps with a nice sharp knife. Okay. Now, if we open that up, you can pull a slice of bacon out of there. Okay. Max, I'm not, you're able to get this, but I'm not sure if I'm blocking your view. So I'm going to take out a couple slices of bacon here. Wow. That is big bacon. Yeah, 
Yes, it is. So with it being so big, <laughs> that's unnatural. Yeah, that's that is a ginormous piece of bacon. I don't think I've ever seen. I thought maybe that was two pieces for a second, but it's actually not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it, it looks over. Like it is two pieces, but they're both that long. Yeah, it's. As a matter of fact, you're right, because I can see. Yeah, I can see the separation. There it is. All right. So that's okay. One's a little bit shorter, but we're going to take one. And I'm going to start by just laying it out this way. Okay, long ways. I'm going to pick up the meatball. And pick up the bacon. Slide that over. Okay, we're going to roll this. And continue to roll this just like that. Maybe lay the other one across. Okay. It's shorter. We could. We could. We're going to take this one. Okay. As well with the length. And since you talked about laying it across. We're going to start by picking it up and going where the bacon is not. What if we do it the other direction? Like, there you go. Yeah. And go around just like this. Now, I'm letting you know this is a heart attack in a box, guys. So if you're, health, if you're healthy conscious on this dish... You may want to just write up your will now. I'll let you know. All right. So that is basically one meatball. Okay. Got my trusty towel here. And you can see it's it's pretty healthy. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to, pretty healthy as in the size, yeah. We're going to set this in our little dish over here. Just like that. Now you want to put that on a baking tray. Uh, go ahead and set your oven to 350 degrees. Um, once you do that, it's going to take about uh, probably, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes for a tray of those, uh, and then you're going to want to turn them. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven, go ahead and get the rest of these rolled out. I'm probably going to do six to eight, so it depends on how much you want to do. So we'll be, we'll be back on Cooking with Carter right after this. Stay tuned, guys. All right, hello and welcome back. Uh, before we put this um, the meatballs in the oven, I actually wanted to show one thing on camera here. Um, the two cheeses, the mozzarella that we got is a little bit thicker than the sharp cheddar. So what you want to do, I've cut off a piece about yay big. It's a little bit over an inch. So we're going to take that inch piece of cheese and we're going to turn it long ways. Now I'm going to use a shorter knife here. I'm going to go between the two and I'm going to press down and just cut them lengthwise. Now the reason that I do that, uh, Max brought this up off camera earlier. Okay, I'm going to slide my board back up. Slide my meatball back over. Now if you look, most of these are a consistent size. Some of them are a little bit bigger. Again, when you have nine and a half inch hands, that tends to be a problem. As Max calls them, the hand honks of life. That's kind of where we go there. So he just made a weird face and didn't know, but that's all right. So we're going to now take this. I don't think I've ever labeled them as ham honks of life, but sure. But yeah, okay, but we'll go with it. Somebody did. So we cut it down. Now, you'll notice when we go right in the center, the mozzarella is going to slide right down in the middle. Pinch that off. Okay, you can cover it or you can leave it out. It doesn't matter. But if you want to wrap that, start at one end. Okay, and just go around. Now the oven is preheated again at 350. Okay, so you want the oven to get nice and hot because you want these to cook evenly. You can also get a meat thermometer to check and make sure these are done. I believe the temperature 
on the meat thermometer should be 175 or higher, I believe. Depending on how you want these medium to medium rare with a little bit of pink in the middle. I'm not going to cook these well done because that bacon grease and everything is just going to be all so gorgeous and all so great. So now I'm going to have my wife go ahead and put the oven mitts on, slide these in the oven. I'm going to start it at 15 minutes, check them. They may need up to 30 depending on the side, 15 to 30 minutes. You may have to flip them. So we'll check them, set a timer. When these are done, we'll be right back, show you how they look and have meatball goodness on Cooking with Carter. We'll see you in a bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As I said earlier, we're going to talk just a little bit about our sponsor for Season 4 for Cooking with Carter. I'm with Richard Baldwin of MITS of Virginia. Richard? DJ, thank you. I am with MITS of Virginia, and we are proud to be a sponsor for this season's Cooking with Carter. MITS of Virginia has been in the mobility business for over 16 years now, and we've been supplying individuals with solutions to their mobility challenges, be it vans, home modifications, DME equipment, or just a listening ear if you have a question. Feel free to give us a call, 1-800-420-6470. You can see us on Facebook. We also are linked to the Cooking with Carter site and our website www.mitsofva.com. DJ? Well, I tell you what, he said it all. As you see the poster here, this gives you just a little bit about what MITS is and does. I know this man personally. He's a great friend and now a great sponsor and partner of Cooking with Carter. We are very thankful to Mints of Virginia and the staff at Mints of Virginia for all of their help. And as we say every time on Cooking with Carter, the meals we make are worth the wait. We'll see you next time. All right. Welcome back to Cooking with Carter. We've got the meatballs wrapped with bacon and stuffed with ooey gooey cheese out of the oven. Yeah. Uh, just a couple things I want to mention uh, that we did do off of off of camera. Uh, when the meatballs came out, uh, you'll notice that the bacon is not crispy. If you want your bacon crispy, you can leave them in there a little bit longer. Now the problem is you probably add about four more minutes to it. If you do it too much, you're going to overcook your meat. You can also throw them in a fryer and crisp it up that way. Uh, very, very easy. Uh, we went ahead and drained off the grease out of the uh, cookie sheet. We did not need to spray it down. We just went ahead and... and um, oh yeah, we didn't use the ricotta. Oh. That's, sorry about that. The one thing, I, I had the ricotta sitting there, and my mind said, I don't no, want to not. use you. My brain shut off, and the... It turned invisible for me. I didn't see yeah, it Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, I, we only saw it as soon as we put everything in the oven. The the, the, and I'm going, oh, God, we didn't use the ricotta. So, I mean the, um, yeah. honestly, the way I would have done it, um, you can add uh, ricotta, a little bit of mayonnaise, some avocado, a little bit of barbecue sauce, and make a dip. Now, I do want to show a quick dip for these, um, and I'll have my wife go to the fridge for a second. Babe, if you'll just grab the ranch and the barbecue sauce for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this bad boy right here. The biggest bad boy of the lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Uh, do this sauce on the plate. Just a real quick way to. Can you should I go first? Yeah, I actually <laughs> did. I actually did, but it's. I won't, yeah, I won't so, try that on camera. It's so platter. <laughs> it's so thick that the. Uh, oh, yeah. Barbecue sauce, maybe a teaspoon or so. Um, another thing, I did not season these meatballs at all. Um, oh, yeah. And we don't really need to. The bacon yeah, the and the grease will actually take care of all the seasonings. I didn't use any, any garlic or anything. I did not forget, I know, cooking with Carter does season a lot. Small city. Yeah. The they, everybody's going, 
Oh what? God, he did in the season. What's wrong with him? Something's wrong. He's sick. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't use 12 pounds of garlic in season salt him. All right, so just take your ranch and your barbecue. way to do the sauce press right across just like that we're not fancy on this show for a presentation okay all right now for a meatball what you have for a meatball i'm going to cut into this what's the cheese salad Actually, going to get my fork to help hold it. Okay, there's the doneness. The cheese is actually inside there. Oh, let me see. Cheese is like absorbed. It's melted into the. Meatball. Okay, I'm gonna take a piece of this. I was expecting it to like flow. Yeah, same. It, it did, and you notice in, in most of them you can see where yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see where it's. Like a uh, floodgate of cheese. Is good. Mm. Just gonna make the smallest I like piece. To That's awesome. Happy dance. Happy dance from the way. Oh, that's that's like that's the, 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 the the flavor of that. Mm. The sauce actually makes it even better. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the sauce is because I didn't. It really didn't need seasoning, actually. It, you could. I, I could have. I mean, it's it's, it's honestly, on its that's the one thing. I, I can't believe I didn't do that, honestly. I, I in, in my mind, I'm going, you moron, you didn't <laughs> season it. Now that I've mentioned it on the camera. But, the but honestly, the bacon, the, the taste of the bacon is, is remarkable. Um, Max, you want a you want a piece of that, or you just? I will off camera. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it. Uh, as my you know brain reconstitutes to its normal you know brain activity. Jelly like self, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Season everything. Else. Um. So we'll see you again next time on Cooking with Carter, where the meals we make are worth the wait.